So hey there YouTube family, it's Captain Dan, fishing solo today. Uh, Elizabeth's on the road, she's working, and uh, decided to come on out after work myself today. It's been a couple of days since I've been able to get out and do any decent fishing, so decided to come on out on a solo trip. The wind laid down, I am by myself, there is not a soul around. If you look around, there is not a single soul, Whoop! Oh, there's one guy way out there coming on in. But I am fishing on the patch reefs for the most part by myself. Just kind of using a small knocker rig and um, a J hook with a piece of shrimp. So follow me. Let's see if we can make it happen today. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're on. Oh, darn it. So, was it toothy? Nope. It was not toothy. So, had them on and just lost them. Okay, they're down there. Already picked it up. Damn, missed him again. Son of a gun. Picked it up. Come on, before the barracuda catch you. Come on, come on, get up here. Hoo hoo, that's a nice one. That might be a keeper. Woo wee! He's gonna knock himself to smithereens if he's not careful. That's a nice fish. Yeah, there's a beauty. So that's the key, just kind of waiting them out and when they slam it, they just slam that thing. <clears throat> they have a way of stealing the bait too. I mean, they'll, they'll take that bait right off before you even know it. So 15 inches. Just shy of 15. Yep, just shy of 15. He's got to be here. 16. So he goes back. He goes back, but he's a pretty fish. Take the tail off, snap it, get rid of it. Put the hook down through just a little bit. Bring it back out. And then put it back in right near the head. So it does two things. It makes it weedless, number one. And it looks pretty damn delicious. Yep. Little snapper. Not our target fish, but a little snapper. Kind of cool looking look, right? Oh, 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 oh sorry, buddy. Yep. He's fine. He took off. <laughs> so as soon as we put a little scent in the water, i.e. a chum bag and some and a little bit of shrimp. And it automatically invites the big boys. And so we've got, uh, looks like a pretty hefty couple of nurse sharks down there on boat, right underneath our chum bag. So, interesting. Hopefully that won't turn the bite off, but uh, we'll see. Go for a second, but nope. We gotta get him in quick though before Barry comes. It's a hog, it's a hog. Just not the right size hog, but a hog nonetheless. Now on the hogs today, but not the right size yet. Had one that was close. And off he goes. Good. Yep, down he goes. Perfect. Oh, small fish again. Oh, mangrove snapper. You never know what you get on these patcheries, ever. Never know what you're going to pull out. I did not expect that boy. Come on, take it easy, buddy. Slow down. Don't move too fast. There we go. Where did you go? Gone. All right, cool. That was a little different. That was cool. All right, let's try it again. We got this spot picked out out there. Right about there. Get him. Yeah, small fish. Real small fish. Small yellowtail, my goodness. Oh, gosh, not even. I snagged a little grunt. Why you keep trying to steal my, to steal my bait, man? Okay, just using a little piece now. 
just going to use a little piece. Hit like a ton of bricks. And he is the smallest hogfish I have seen yet. And he hit like a 20 incher. Ha! All right, you're going back for sure, but man. You got some fighting days ahead of you, buddy. Oof. All right, let's get this hook out of you. I'm going to hold you like this. And get that hook out. And let you go back. You swim. Swim hard and swim fast away from that barracuda. Get out of here. That's it. Go, go, go. Woohoo. Man, did he hit hard. <laughs> For a little tiny, little tiny hogfish, man. He packs a, he packed a punch. We got into the small hogfish now. So these guys are way, way, way small. Not even close. Interesting, interesting fish. They change colors when you're in the water with them instantly. They'll come across uh, a different, a different environment, grass or rock, and they'll change color immediately. You can watch them change color. Uh, I, I try to get them back in the water as quickly as possible because they don't do well if you keep them out for a long period of time. So, in he goes. And it looks like he's going to do fine. Come on, buddy. Take off. Yep, there he goes. Down to the bottom. And they'll change, like, instantaneously as soon as they get down there into, like, that green grass color. So, cool. Got to get him out of the rocks. He's out of the rocks now. This is a big fish. This is a good one. This is the one we might have been waiting for. Oh, no. Is it who I think it is? It is. Oh, no. It's the nurse shark. Son of a gun. Come on, dude. Tiny piece of shrimp. Seriously? This is what you wanted? I've been throwing fish in there. God darn it. Look at this guy. This guy's got to be freaking six feet long. <laughs> sure, 30 pound test line. Jeez. <sighs> Gotta love the sharks. Come out with you. Come on. All there was my line. Just come up to the boat. See if I can get the hook out of you. Come on. Come on. This is how I strip the gears out of my pen reels. <clears throat> Son of a gun. Thought I had that keeper hog. So I felt like it for a second. Nope, I'm gonna win this one, dude. I'm taking you in. I'm taking you in. I am taking you in. Nope. Not giving up, dude. been chasing them in my fish for the last half hour. Seriously? Oh! I got a fish on there. He ate my fish. Look at that. I had a hogfish. I had a hogfish on. He went after the hogfish and ate the hogfish. You thief. You freaking thief. Now you're going to pay for that hogfish. Here's the other thing, too. You can take any size you want. Yeah, how about that? I got to take a 16-incher. You got a freaking 10-incher there. Son of a gun. He's a big boy, too. <sighs> I don't know how this is going to end. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to end. <laughs> He's already killed that hogfish. <clears throat> I would like my hook back. 
No, 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 not underneath the boat. You ate my hogfish. Son of a gun. Ah, eh, okay. So here's what I'm thinking. I think we cut the line. <clears throat> Maybe now he'll leave. <clears throat> After I ruined his dinner. Come on, turn around. So I got the line underneath him now. That's no good. There it is. He's got two remoras on him too. He is he's a pretty large pretty large fish. <clears throat> Yep, pretty large fish. And if I can get my D hooker over there. Ooh. Just let the hook go, man. Just let the hook go. Yeah. So the hog fish is free. There goes the hogfish, chewed to pieces. <sighs> so if it's not the barracuda, it's the sharks. Dude, dude, just give me, a, come on, come on, come on, come on, just cooperate. There we go. There we go, come on, head out of the water. Ah, there it goes. Put twang. So, <clears throat> shark one, Captain Dan, zero. Busted my line, took my hogfish. Hopefully, hopefully he'll just vanish now after, after that. And then he'll be back to fishing. So, as you can see, patch fishing out here is awesome. You never know what you're going to catch. Um, it's quiet. I mean, I am the only boat out here, and it's you know in the evening after work, and it's just kind of just relaxing, <laughs> except when your hardfish gets robbed. But uh, other than that, just freaking it's awesome. So I'm gonna re-rig. So all right, follow me. Here we go. Let's see what we can do after the shark attack. Nice hog. Nice hog. There we go. Man, he hit that hard. It's kind of weird. As soon as I moved it, he hit it. Again, short though. Not gonna, he's not going to make it. He is not going to make it. But good fish. Good fish, good fish. Let's get him in quick. Let's get him in quick. There we go. Nice fish. All right, well, while I'm really not a uh, swimming with the sharks kind of guy, I uh, really did want to get in the water all day, and it's been hot, so the sun's going down a little bit, and I got snagged, so I said, hey, that's a good enough excuse to go in the water and go swim with sharks, so that's exactly what I did.
While I was down there, it was just absolutely gorgeous. So really a place I'm going to come back and just dive. I mean, you just snorkel around and just check stuff out. It's freaking awesome. So good day. Uh, got a lot of hogfish. Saw a really nice dive. And uh, out here all alone, peaceful. Um, Florida, there's, there's nothing like the Florida Keys. And Key Largo is just absolutely awesome. So thanks a lot for subscribing and thanks a lot for following us. We really appreciate you guys. Um, you kind of um, make, make it better for us. Uh, we like to watch our videos and then, and then get the comments from you guys and then answer almost, I try to answer every single one. So if I don't do it, Elizabeth does. She's in the process right now of, uh, of editing a couple other videos. So thanks a lot for following us. We really enjoy it and we really enjoy you guys. So see you next time.